hi guys how are you doing so we're gonna continue with this 1.8 golf or mk1 uh, block or a, a sub assembly engine so the last time i showed you i showed you how to correctly put the crank so today i'll be sharing with you on how to put in the the rings and uh, a, a, a trick you a trick way to install your piston without uh, a ring holder so we have all our piston here this is a piston then the rings goes the ring the rings goes here uh, we have one and two and three this is the the ring for the oil this is for the the scraper ring uh, the one that 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 scrapes the oil from the this this cylinder uh, intake so to say this is the compression ring so we have three rings uh, so this is our rings right here it's pretty simple procedure so we have our number one ring which is our oil ring and then we have our number two ring which is our uh, oil scraper ring and then our number three ring which is our compression ring so the way to install these rings uh, let's start with this ones uh, the way to install these rings this one is the, the most simplest one uh, to install them just simply let me, like so and then you turn it like that uh, you know let me put you on the stand and then so that i can show you how, how to install them so guys, uh, the way to install these rings is to you start with the number, the number one ring, you just like that, slide it there, and then you uh, slide it around like that. You, you bring it on top like this, bring on top like this, and then it, it will turn around, and then... Uh, Voila, just like that. Then with this other ones too, this one. So what you do, it's the same thing. Just squeeze it like that, and then you take this, this half, this this other end. And then you bring it on top. Then it will come. yeah so just like that excuse the the blurry uh, camera so um, like i said before uh, i'm thinking of getting a, a new camera but uh, at the moment yeah so this this the same one that uh, that the, what do you call the these two rings goes in between the the, the one that looks uh, kind of bendy like a ring. So the this one, these two rings goes in in between. So same same procedure. yeah just like that so now we'll be going to our second ring this ring has a it is written here 
it is written written top here let me show you here it is written top which means that where it is written top that that side goes on top so it's gonna go on top like this so the same procedure make sure not to break the ring just like that just like that then you squeeze it like you press it like that and then goes in like that so simple so our compression ring and number three ring this is our number three ring it's a bit shiny so this one uh, same way just put it like that and then you press it here and then you hold it here and then you make sure not to break the ring because after you break it it will be useless so you have to get an another one perfect then another thing that i want to uh, share with you guys is that make sure that the the end of the ring is not in line with the other end of the ring so we have to uh, like this one push it that that other side so that the end is not in line with the other end this one push that through that other side so now we are done with the rings so I'm gonna show you another trick that I just uh, learned for myself. I'm, I'm not sure if I last have uh, picked it up, but I was just thinking if I could do it, then it, it it works. So we're done with the ring. Let me show you how to install the 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 piston. So this is where the piston goes. So uh, gonna put it this side. And I put it this side. Another important thing that you should do is you should oil the rings. Uh, let me oil them, lubricate them, so that get our oil here. Our oil is a bit dark, but this it works. Oil them. And then make sure that it is in line with that crank let me get my see that crank over there make sure that this this thing right here is in line with that crank so we're gonna put it straight like that straight like that and then uh, get our special tool most of the time you just use a a ring squeezer so at the moment i don't have a ring squeezer so i'll be using uh what i have i'll not be damaging the rings if you do exactly as i did it you will not you will not be damaging the rings so let me show you how how i did it So guys, uh, here is it, you understand now, 
not sure if it was wiggling around while I was busy putting you on the stand, but then, yeah, uh, what you do is you press it right here, you press it right here, and then you just simply push here, then you push the other side, you push it here. Very important that you do not hit the ring because if you hit it, right. Seems like our camera is not uh, cooperating with us, but then, yeah, what can we do? So, you push it here, you push, you push it, again, to not hit the ring, you just push it. As I don't have a ring squeezer at the moment. But then I'm planning to get one. And uh, this one is not properly seated. So yeah guys, if you do that then you're you're good to go. So let me put this ring in here and then I'll bring you back. I mean let me put this cylinder in this cylinder block and then I'll bring you back so guys we got our cylinder in uh, just simply tap it tap it tap it as you're pushing the cylinder down and it will get in very very important again that you do not hit those rings just simply push them push them push them push them push the other side push the other side then it will get in if you hit them then you're going to damage them then lubricate them again and then you'll be good to go so with that guys uh, thank you for watching so what we need to do now is get ourselves a cylinder head and then we have our oil pan right there uh, we have our our uh, what, what do you call uh, we have our oil pump uh, another important thing uh, this thing right here drives a uh, distributor shaft it drives the, dist the distributor uh, so that uh, you get your timing right this goes right here let me show you it goes right here And then it's gonna come out this other end right here here are those gears right i'm not sure if you can see them but as you push this side and then it's gonna come out this side and then you're gonna put your distributor here and then your wires and then your top it's gonna go here and then all those other uh, oil filter all those other stuff and then you'll be good to go uh, your timing here, uh, your uh, fly will this other side, and then yeah, but then this takes time. Uh, as I go, I'll be showing you how it's done, uh, the tricks. If it work, if it, if it works for me, probably it'll work for you. I'm just sharing what I know. Uh, I might make some mistakes here and there. Don't be shy to let me know on the comments down below. Uh, with that, guys, stay tuned for more videos to come. With that, thanks for watching. Bye.